Good morning. Welcome to wet Winnipeg. <laughs> well, the weather office says it's supposed to clear up sometime this afternoon a little bit, so. Okay. I've been here at the model table probably for uh, going on an hour. And I got all our parts cleaned up except for the ones that are still on the sprue. And if you remember, we had decided we were going to take and uh, leave them on the sprue and, and remove them as we needed them. Uh, but I'm noticing here in step 40 that before we actually get over here and need these parts, if we're going from left to right, uh, which kind of makes sense. Where, what, what, that there's some, is it, is it Hebrew that you read backwards? Well, maybe we're going backwards and they're going forwards. I don't know. It depends on how you look at it. Yeah, they, they go from right to left, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can't, I can't read it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was a little bit more multi-languaged, you know, but I am, I'm just not. I got, I got one language, uh, well actually <clears throat> got two because <clears throat> when I was a kid I could speak pig Latin. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let, let's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but let's get us as recomposed here. Oh, there's no sunrise, that's for sure. Haven't seen the walkers yet. They, they might be coming by later or something, but, uh, you know, trying to wait wait for the rain to quit. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're here at the model table. The roof isn't leaking. And uh, actually, it's not raining that hard. In fact, at the, at the moment, it's not, I don't think it's raining at all. But it was. Trust me. I, I was out there. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let, let's uh, recompose here. And... Uh, uh, get some of these parts together that, that I spent uh, time adjusting and getting all the... Uh, well, I didn't get all of the seams off. And, you know, I, I was just looking now, the way the light is falling on, on these, you can see uh, where the where the push-out pins were. Now, I, I did sort of sand them down a bit, but some people actually go to the trouble of filling those. And, they, and then they, when they sand it down it looks perfectly smooth um, I don't uh, that's that's not me you know then then it becomes work <laughs> I can still have it look really really good to my way of thinking anyway uh, from arm's length uh, without filling those that's my opinion for, for myself now for somebody else then they want to do a really good job well hey the, I think major or mil, I think military modeler Paul I think he fills those in, if I remember right. Uh, yeah. Uh, but then his, his uh, submarine looks a lot better than mine, too. So, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Paul, you got to get that in the case and do, do the final re reveal. <laughs> okay. Uh, enough uh, talking about other people's show. Let's uh, get ourselves recomposed here and uh, try and put some parts down. Yeah, we need, uh, we go from left to right. We need, we need this piece and we need this piece. And uh, I don't know what would be the best. Uh, I think maybe assemble the two together and then put these, uh, these uh, rails on top. You know, the V5s. Uh, should the V5s go on first or, or after? I think I'll put them on after. We'll, we'll get everything uh, we'll get everything assembled here. Probably need my little square to make every, make sure everything's square. Uh, okay. This graphic here is this piece here, and this one is this piece here. And they're going to fold up together. And these parts, of course, have to go in between. Now, I don't think it matters which way these go. If they go this way or they go this way, they seem to be the, the same. If I can turn it back over. Now, the reason I'm, I've got it positioned the way I had it is because we've got the, the push-out pin marks. Oh, I didn't, didn't do a very good job on that one. 
Okay, and I think that if I if I have them this way, when we view this part, I think we might not see those. Um, yeah, so now this one here, I don't think it matters which way it goes, you know, this way or the, or this, or the other way, uh, because it's, it's symmetrical. So, um, yeah, so we got to take and put a part in here. I think I'm probably just going to use the, uh, the extra thin. We, we will uh, put the macro lens on, or at least we'll, we'll move in a little closer. Yeah. And uh, I, could, I could maybe use the quick setting. Except the quick setting doesn't have the melding ability that the extra thin does, so... Yeah. Thought I heard Missy the dog. Do I have this the wrong way around? Um, okay. I think these are supposed to go Okay, yeah, you can see one tab is bigger than the other. All right, I'm gonna probably have to re-moisten here. No, I don't know if this is if this is necessary or not, but I'm doing it anyway. Now, my thinking is that after I get these uh, five pieces in place, uh, let let them uh, dry so that there's a little bit of strength to them, and then I will try and cap this this part here. On, on top of everything. Okay, so let's go for another one here. Okay, let me turn these things around. Now I probably bumped this one a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do the remaining uh, three pieces now. It's a wet world. She didn't even go down the street. She said, quick pee at Ron's place, bacon, let's get in out of the rain. <laughs> it's you're, not raining hard, but the ground is wet. You're looking a little bit more spry than you were yesterday morning. Yeah, I think my symptoms are gone. We could probably sit here, you know, 
if everything wasn't soaking wet, but maybe it'll dry out. I think the rain is about over. Is it, it should be hot today, eh? 25 or 26? I think it's supposed to clear around one o'clock. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, in fact, I can see, uh, you know, you can sort of see sky uh, lightning there to the south, so uh, at, least, at least I think it's lighting. Yeah, warm front, warm front came through, I guess. And uh, yeah, maybe the heat of the morning will dry it out. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm glad you're getting better. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your kindness. You're welcome. From this house, breakfast. Okay, that's good news. Max is on the mend. Now, normally, right after Max and Missy have been by for their morning, uh, Max and Missy show, I guess you'd call it, uh, yeah, I'll start the next clip out by saying, Missy the dog, Missy the dog. Well, I forgot this morning. Sorry about that. Well, there's hours tomorrow, if I remember. I don't think I need to add any. This should meld fairly good. And, uh... Can't really get my square in there too good. But I'm just sort of eyeballing it. I'm going to probably have to bend them one way, one way or the other anyway to get them to match up with the other piece later. Okay, let's let these uh, dry really good and so that they're not going to break out of there when I start working with them. And I uh, just want to make sure that it is, in fact, all the way down. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, I'm guessing about two hours or so has passed since I glued these up. And they're not going to accidentally pull out of there unless I try to do it. So what we've got to do now is get everything all matched up at the same time and basically held together here. I don't think it's going to be too hard. I think I can just sort of wiggle on them and maybe, you know, if I, if I can get this end right, then I could use one of my little clamps very gently to hold everything together. This, this may be the sort of thing I'm going to have to do off camera, although I've, I've almost got it here. I can sort of feel where they where they're trying to get into the into the various little slots. I was thinking of using elastic bands, but some my experience with elastic bands is that sometimes they can all of a sudden you know, the, the whole thing would go like this and, and squash together. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to work away at this off camera here and uh, um, we'll see where we go from there. Okay, we got them. Now, what I was finding was that, you know, I've got this, what you would call, I guess, square pegs had to go into square holes or slots. And I, I just couldn't get them to go in easily. In fact, I, I couldn't get them all to go in at the same time at all. Like at least, like the, the I did the first three first, uh, and I couldn't. I could get maybe two of them in, but then the the others were kind of jamming, and I concluded that in all likelihood, on the s square pegs or maybe even in the slots, there might have been little burrs or something. So what I did was I just moistened all the slots and the pegs, and then everything just sort of almost fell into place. So I'll have to remember that trick for next time. And then I did the same with the, with these other two at, at the other end, and they, they went pretty good. They've been clamped together now for probably about 10 minutes. I'm just going to leave them for a little bit. Now we got these V5s to, to put on and uh, it it seems that we have to put them on uh, they, they, they are not symmetrical they're the uh, when, when we put them on I'll show you I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, it, it doesn't matter which one goes where but they they can't go the wrong way around in other words they have to go this way apparently for some reason um, 
and of course you're too far back to see you know the detail on them that has to match up with something else I guess eventually um, yeah so let's just uh, take a little pause here and uh, let, let that um, dry out a little bit and it'll be it'll be really strong yeah it's we're, we're moving along here slow but sure I'm guessing about uh, almost an hour has passed here now. All right. I was talking about the that these had to go on the right way. They they look like they're the same, but they're not. Or something to point with here. Now you see, there's a there's a little little mark here. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. And there's also one on the other end. And here, there's a there's more of a space here than there is here, so they have to go on in this orientation. Uh, I think just just like this. Okay, yeah, they they sort of fit down like that. Um, and this this third one, we use it over here after this piece is put together, I guess. Um, I I do believe this is supposed to be glued in place. It's not supposed to slide like this, so it should be fairly easy. Um, maybe the way to do it is just turn the, the whole thing upside down and. Uh, Get everything positioned in place, and then just put some glue, let some glue wick its way along. Yeah, I'm just going to reposition here. Okay, you can see that. It, yeah, it comes up to, uh, you know, it, it slides and then it comes up to a stop. There's a bit of a, I guess you call it a stop. No, it won't take very much. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just shove it ahead to make sure it's all the way. Now, obviously, you're not going to get to see anything here, but. Okay. Now when I pick this up it should stay there. There we go. Alright, let that dry. Okay, now these two pieces here, they do not go on the other side, they only go on this side here. And uh, you can see there's a slot there and a slot there, but there isn't on this side. And that's because the uh, this whole assembly, I guess, is viewed from this side. In all likelihood, on the on the real sub, maybe there there was something. So we're going to want to put these on something like this. And we'll just let gravity be our friend here. In all likelihood. Well, that seems to fit in pretty good, doesn't it? Let me just uh, recompose here a little bit. I'll do this one first. Because the other one will block my vision here. I'm I'm off to your right. Okay. 
Okay. Now this, this will evaporate, this excess glue, and it will make these parts so that they are welded on there really good. Okay, I'm just going to have to swing, swing it around and make sure it's, uh, it's square. But it looks pretty good from, from the way I'm looking at it right now. Yep, I think that's going to be okay. Okay, we have made progress here. Yeah. This section right here, it's done. Now we got to put together the uh, T6 and the T9, which is uh, these two pieces right here. We'll probably be doing that tomorrow. That'll be the first, one of the first things we do if we're working from left to right. Um, yeah. Well, we may uh, we may well get into nipping these pieces off of the off of the V screw, which is way over there out of sight. Um, I'm going to call her quits though. Every once in a while I think the sun is coming out. The street has been dry for probably three, four hours, but it keeps looking like it could rain. So I don't want to be getting out and getting in a situation like I was three months ago when I went to the old neighborhood and got completely caught by surprise. Good thing I was wearing my rain stuff. I wasn't wearing my rain stuff because I thought it was gonna rain. I was wearing it because it broke the wind. I just sort of lucked out. So here I am on my brand new bike. I think it only was, was less than a week old. And here I am going through pouring rain. Yeah. It's still got mud in places. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to call it quits for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. All being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.